It doesn't matter how strong you are, everyone has their breaking point. On today's case, Ms. Diaz says that taking care of their newborn without basic support from her partner is stressful enough. But what really rocked her world was when she found flirty text messages Mr. Flores was sending to other women. She says she is tired of his lies and excuses and she's ready to end the relationship. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Diaz versus Flores. Thank you very much, Ms. Diaz and Mr. Flores. Ms. Diaz, you have brought this case today because you say Mr. Flores is a liar, a cheater, and a master manipulator. You say you are done with the mind games and with this relationship. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Flores, you say you're here because you desperately want to save this relationship. You say your girlfriend has created some of these issues, but despite that, you do not want to tear your family apart. Yes, Your Honor. So, we are at a crossroads, Ms. Diaz, according to you. Why are we in court, ma'am? I'm here to end my three-year relationship with Richard. I am tired of the lies, the manipulation, the games. We have tried therapy, and even through that, I felt alone. I'm stressed out, and I don't want to lose any more sleep over this. And it really sucks because we have a five-month-old baby that we adore, but I don't think that I can go through this anymore because I know that I deserve to be happy as well. Ms. Diaz has just broken it down, Mr. Flores. She is not for the games anymore. What do you say? Well, Your Honor, I understand, like, you know, I, I messed up in the past, but with the whole manipulating me now and trying to make point out that I am the bad guy, I, it just needs to stop because I'm trying my best to become a better person and she just, she just don't want to hear it. So let's see if there's anything left, Ms. Diaz, because Ms. Diaz, you say you all have even tried counseling, but you felt alone there. Can I take you back to when you first met? There were happier times then. Why don't you talk to me about that? It was actually pretty interesting. So we met in 2019, and I was not interested at all. And then the next day, we ended up at a nightclub together, and I was still giving him the same energy, didn't want to talk, kind of, you know, I'm an acknowledged eye roller, mm -hmm. definitely did that a lot. And he was just trying to give me a little bit of energy, and I opened up and I realized that we actually had a lot of chemistry. So at the end of the night, things turned around, and we were... We didn't spend a day apart, actually. It sounds really wonderful. How did it go so wrong? So, I actually um, caught him on video cheating. Nah. -uh. Yes, I submitted that. Mm hmm. You caught him on tape? Yes. So, tell me the circumstance. Yes. So, he was going to go to a picnic with some friends. And he was like, oh, I'm going to go, you know, with my friends. We're going to go here. It's outdoors. We're going to have, like, a picnic barbecue style. I'm like, okay, cool. Have fun, you know. And then I'm on my feed, and I see one of his friends post. And I'm minding my business because everything's supposed to be okay, right? So I noticed that there's some dancing and, like, you know, just some fun involved. I'm looking, and I kind of almost pass the video, and I go back. And I go back again, and I'm looking and looking and looking, and I'm like, I know that outfit, because that outfit left my house today. So up in the right side of the corner of the screen is my boyfriend dancing with another girl. So I have the video. Well, was it innocent dance? Let me see what you're talking about. No, 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 about. not innocent dancing. It was I not no innocent see what dancing. You're this about. is bumping and grinding and booty on pelvis. However oh, you want to let me see. Rubbing. What you're Oh, wait, hold on. There's a chick that is bent over. Does that seem innocent? Ooh, tag your rib, Mr. Flores. Well, Your Honor. And a hush fell over Jerusalem. In my defense, I'm from New York. As am I. As am and I. And if you're from New York, I know you probably heard of the dance called Bronx Swine. In my defense, I was just Bronx Swining. Disrespectful. I don't know the girl, and I Excuse honestly... Excuse me, what did you just say, Robert? Disrespectful. I honestly do not know the girl. What was... What? I don't... I don't even... What's her name? No, <laughs> you tell me. Okay. What's her name? You let really... Me, let me be real clear. 
in this courtroom, you don't win on an argument of, I don't know the girl. So now you are bumping and grinding with a miscellaneous chick. <laughs> It was an innocent dance. No, but I don't look innocent to me. Mr. Flores, why don't you admit that that was inappropriate? I tell you what, if that blue pant was Miss Diaz down with her behind in another man's crotch and she brought into a public courtroom a videotape of that, how would you feel as a man? I would be upset with her. Thank you. So stand in your caughtness and apologize to her for being disrespectful. That's what you do when you get caught. But I did. I did apologize to her. That was in 2019, and she still holds that against me. And we have a five-month... Would you like me to tell you why she holds it against you? Why? Because you still try to give me an excuse. That's why she holds it against you. If you had actually apologized and meant it, it would never be brought up again. Your Honor, what if I did apologize before? No, no. Oh, I'm positive that you said I'm sorry. Just like how he wants me to let it go, he still, years later, rationalizes it. And I... That's not just... That's not just one occurrence. We have multiple occurrences, and I have more evidence to that. Okay, you said multiple occurrences, Mr. Flores? I'm about to hear this. That was multiple occurrences. We supposed to be moving on. This is supposed to be the woman that I'm supposed to marry in in the future. But, Mr. Flores, this is something that I think people forget all the time, and I want you to hear me really clear when I said this to you. Yes, Your Honor. A lot of people can get over if you have cheated or if you've emotionally cheated, but they never forget how you made them feel. Thank you. That's the difference. I went through his phone, and there's a text message of him denying that he's in a relationship. I just want to see if you're single. Oh, yeah, I'm out here. I'm single. Tag your it, Mr. Flores. You said you wanted to tell me something. She breaks up with me almost every two weeks. So how am I mm-hmm. supposed to stop my happiness because you want to just keep on breaking up with me? Your Honor, for my 25th birthday, a little, a couple of days after, I had already felt uncomfortable because of the dancing situation and, you know, women's intuition, it's never steered me wrong. So I waited until he was fast asleep. Let me guess, went through his phone. Yes, yes, I did. Isn't that so cliche? Yeah, so I went through his phone, um, waited till he was knocked out like a little baby, and I I grab the phone, I get into it, and I'm standing over him, looking through the phone, and my heart is pounding. I'll tell you, I'm starting to sweat now just thinking about it. And there's a text message of him denying that he's in a relationship, Right, so oh, aren't you in a relationship? Hold on, and hold he's like, wait, 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 Ms. Flores, I'm, I want to hear what the what the argument and is. And he literally says, "I'm no, I'm single," which I'm like, okay, so I apparently I don't exist. I'm clearly a figment of your imagination. And then with a whole nother separate female, whole nother girl, he is asking her on a date. I was like, oh, okay, you have time for that? That's cool. So mm-hmm. you're suggesting that he was trolling, basically. Yeah. Having multiple conversations with different women. Yes, and I've submitted the evidence for both of them, so if you want to take a quick peek at that, please be my guest. I'd like to see the evidence. So is this one text message? Yes, so this is the one about so denying the relationship. some woman asked, I just want to see if you're single because you're pretty cute with a smiley face. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm out here. I'm single. Hit me up sometimes with a smirky face. Ridiculous, okay, so right? we know that that is foul. That's number one. Thank you. The next... So this is the second one. Okay. You look like you want to have fun this weekend. He, like, really, really wanted to ask her out. I do, I do. I want to go out in the city. Okay. Maybe we can set something up this weekend with that smirky face again. Okay. I'll get back to you and let you know with a wink. Tag your it, Mr. Flores. You said you wanted to tell me something. Talk to me. So, Jenna... She breaks up with me almost every two weeks, like a bi-weekly check, right? So how am I supposed to be with somebody that's just going to be breaking up with me and I got to stop my happiness because she just wants to just end everything? Rich, do you instead know of, what dumb things you do? Instead of just talking, instead of just talking it out, the communication, that's one problem that we have. We have bad communication. 
Her mm -hmm. attitude sucks, mm -hmm. right? But again, she wants to break up with me every two weeks and say, hey, let's break up, but then let's go let's let's get back together. So how am mm -hmm. I supposed to stop my happiness because you because you want to just keep on breaking up with me? So, Mr. Flores, here's my question. When you say you break up, do you move out of the house? Basically, yes. No, not basically. You always, I always know. Do you leave this house, this premises and go sleep elsewhere? Yes. And how long are you out of that house when you break up? About a week or so. So you can be out of the house for a whole week? He's lying. Don't, don't lie to me, He's please don't. He's lying. You gotta kick me off if you lie to me. For that long. About a week. 48 hours, the most, and even then you're still texting me. Mr. Flores, don't lie. Please don't. I hate, I mean, it's one thing for you to say I don't want to answer. It's another thing to lie. Please don't look me in the face and lie, because that annoys me. So I asked this I for say, a real I reason. About, I say about a week. Okay. So you He's are literally firm. out of the house, not sleeping um, in the same place for a week. Yes. There was one day I was sleeping, and then I get a notification on my social media that somebody had hacked into my social media. She comes up to me like, by the way, that was me. I thought it was funny. Ms. Diaz? You don't trust Mr. Floyd. No, I do not. She finds that you are an untrustworthy person. And until she feels that she can trust you, this is what you're going to get. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Why would you go and seek outside comfort? Uh, Your Honor, if, I've tried... If you've only been away a week. Your Honor, I've tried. I tried, I tried. I tried to communicate with her. I tried to talk to her. She just doesn't listen to me. And honestly, I would love to marry her in the future, you know? But I'm phone. tired of the manipulating and just not communicating. You actually say she looks for trouble. Yes. You start trouble. How do I start Ms. trouble? Ms. Diaz, give me a minute. Mr. Flores, what do you mean by that? I want an example, because you know Ms. Diaz brought evidence in here of you and your inappropriate and disrespectful texts with other women. And she proved that, no question whatsoever. Yes. But you say she looks for trouble? What do you have? There was one day I was sleeping, had a long day. And then I get a notification on my social media that somebody had hacked into my social media. So I'm like, who's really trying to hack me? You know? So I go and I see the location of where the person was hacking. It showed the same address that I was at. So let me guess. Ms. Diaz was the one who was trying to get So access. listen to this. This is funny. I go inside a room, I ask her, did you hack into my Instagram? No. I would never. Come on, Rich. You think I would really do that? The whole day goes by, 24 hours. I'm still trying to understand why people are trying to hack into my stuff. She comes up to me like, by the way, that was me. Why didn't you just tell me right then and there that it was you? I thought it was funny. What do you mean that it was funny? It wasn't I did. funny. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. I mean, how are you clearly supposed Clearly it wasn't how funny, but I honestly work... thought that it was. How, how because... are we supposed to work on this relationship if you're just trying to hack into my stuff? Because of all the things that you've already done. Because of all the things you've already done. Nah, I don't want to hear that. Nope. I don't nope. want to hear that. Relax. It's very clear. The trust is broken down in this relationship. That's it. Yes, Your Honor. She finds that you are an untrustworthy person. And until she feels that she can trust you, this is what you're going to get. Ms. Diaz, you don't trust Mr. Floyd. No, I do not. Not in the least tiny bit. No, I don't You trust may him. have said that you got through the text messages, got through the video dancing, but you have not. You are still holding on to it. You are still holding on to it because you see more and more behaviors that seem to reinforce what your thought process is as it relates to him. There is where your breakdown is. You don't trust each other. And at the core of every relationship is trust. How am I supposed to co-parent with a liar, though? I trust him with our son wholeheartedly, but he's a liar, even here and before you. Do you hear so what you, she just said? So you're, trying to, you're trying to tell me that I'm lying. I'm lying in front of her. This is, I, I'm, I've been honest with you ever since those situations have occurred. Have I slipped up? Yes. Have I apologized? Yes. Okay, but what's a slip up? Because remember what I told you early on? It's not whether or not they can forgive. 
is whether or not they can forget how you made her feel. So you keep honor. doing the same thing. So because of honor. that, I am done. What about her? So she's Miss Perfect, right? No, no I she doesn't well. do. She doesn't do anything right. I, listen, she doesn't do anything to you, take me off. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm not. I did. Did you hear me say that? Yeah. I don't like any of it. But what can I do as a man to be better? Put your core relationship values in place, okay? Physical. Make sure that the intimacy between you all is personal, emotional. You are there for her. You give support to her. If she's had a hard time with the baby, you say, ah, uh -uh, tag, I'm it, babe, you go. Let me take care of this. How about social? Do stuff that's a date night for the two of you, okay? Security. Make sure if one of you is supposed to be in charge of the bill that month, you pay that bill. Make sure that your son and your woman feel secure that you are being a man. So, Those are the things. You asked for my advice. No, nah, I, I am. Those are core values in a relationship. So what if I do all that stuff already now? I can guarantee you don't because she wouldn't be standing here. I can guarantee you don't. You all need to learn to speak to each other in love languages that you both can understand. Ms. Diaz has said in more ways than one that she will not put up with feeling insecure about your relationship. She doesn't want that kind of relationship, Mr. Flores. She doesn't want people that's gonna slip up every now and again. She wants somebody that she can trust and depend on. And until you can step up and equal your efforts as a father, as a mate, she doesn't want to be with you. Ms. Diaz, did I summarize that pretty clearly? Yes. Ms. Flores, this is on you, baby. Because you're about to lose your woman if you can't convince her that you're ready to take on all those core responsibilities that you asked Judge Starr for. You asked me. Otherwise, I would not have given it all to you because that's a lot for somebody to handle. But you asked, what am I supposed to do? So I gave them to you. You tell her whether or not you're ready for that because that's a lot. Jenna, I love you. I'll do anything for you. But there's certain things that we need to work on our relationship to make this a better foundation. The whole me going out with my friends and stuff like that, it will come to an end. But you gotta also trust me. I don't need you to be doing some miscellaneous stuff to me and to my things to just find out if I'm lying to you or not. I love you, I'll do anything for you, not only you, for not our kids. Ms. Diaz, this is on you. The things that a person needs, a partner needs in a relationship, they don't change. Those things are pretty universal. And only you can determine whether or not you're getting it from your mate. He, obviously, is the kind of man you want for the father of your son. But you have to determine, is that what you want in your life as a mate? Only you can determine that. I love you. But you have to stop. Please be honest with me. That's the only way this could work. It is time for the two of you to stop hurting each other and to both grow up. Stop with the tit for tat and start to put this relationship back on track. It's off track right now. It's a collision course for disaster. And I think your little boy deserves better than that. I've laid out for you what you have to do, Ms. Diaz. You need to hold him to it. Otherwise, I'd learn how to co-parent because you deserve somebody that's willing and able to follow through on trust. You can love him, but it will fail without trust. Now that, you can trust. When will couples learn if you don't have trust, you do not have a relationship. You don't have a relationship at all. And then you have the one woman who basically is telling you, dude, you messed up, fix it. And you have to be willing to listen to the other person. They had a little break for a week, and what do you do? You start talking to other women. Really? Um, learn to comfort yourself, dude. Otherwise, you're going to lose your family. Absolutely.
made in Georgia.